choose a blank template from the template chooser. The quickest way to do this is double click it. Set up your document margins the way you like them in the document menu. The section menu allows you to vary margin settings within a document. Here you can change the vertical position of the header and the footer. I find the default pages setting is too far into the page. The horizontal margins for the header and the footer are the same as for the document. To get the best out of the header and footer, I suggest a narrow margin here. Don't worry, we can set different margins for our text in the Format menu, which is just here. I'll just pop in some text so you can see the effect of our changes. We are working on the body style, which will be consistently applied to all of our body text. First, I'll change the font. You can decide on your own preferences with these options. Next, we need to change the indents in the layout section since we made our margins so small. As you can see, our first line can have a different indent to subsequent lines. I'm also going to mirror the right indent to compensate for my narrow page margins. Now that we have finished editing this style, it is important to click the blue update button that appeared the moment we started making changes. If you don't do this, your changes will be lost. Repeat this exercise for all the styles you think you're likely to use. I strongly recommend taking time to set up headings and use them in your documents, especially the long ones. Headings in a document give you the option to add an automatic contents page where each heading and subheading is indexed. This is very useful for reports and such. Once the text is cleared away, we are ready to save our template by choosing File, Save as Template. We want it to appear in the Template Chooser. You can delete and rename the templates by right-clicking them. I suggest you keep a number of templates for different jobs. A little time investment here will save you hours in the future.